Well, how about that then? Can't right. wait to kick off the uh, episode four of the review journal. Right at the lake. Mr. Seeley's already got one in the bag for me. Twenty-six pounds, sir. Twenty-six pound on the nose. On the nose. What's that now, then? Uh, that is on a little black zig. Siglets for the piglets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll get some snaps done. I've still got a set up round now, so uh, unfortunately I couldn't really get in a swim next to him because it's, it's a day, busy day ticket, but we'll make the most of it, son, won't we? We'll have a good weekend. Well, we're already off the mark. Off to a flyer, mate. Off to a flyer. Yeah. Cracking little fish. All right. Pictures. Photo time. Yeah, mate. Photo time. Turn the hat round, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that, then? There's no better way to kick off a video, or no better way to turn up to a lake really, than uh, rocking up with your mate's got one in a bag for you. So uh, yeah, Sam's off the mark, he's nailed that one on a zig. Pressure is a bit high this weekend, so I'm thinking I'm going to stick to the same sort of approach that I, uh, I put into practice down here for the last four weeks prior to this session. Um, with one rod on a baited spot, two rods roaming on zigs, and we'll sort of see what happens and how the session pans out. Like I say, I've got three nights. I've got Craig coming down as well. Hopefully he'll get in next door to me and we can do a bit of filming together. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've, I've done pretty well over here for the last four weeks. Those of you who do follow me on Facebook and uh, Instagram, um, put a bit of time in, a bit of effort, clock what was going on. And uh, yeah, only took four weekend sessions and uh, we nailed the big girl, uh, 382 Common. Backed it up with a handful of 30s as well, doing my PBs left, right and centre, surface PB, zig PB. Um, so yeah, I've had a good good little stint down here. Um, so I thought, bring the cameras down, what better way to kick off 2017 with a video at Bayswater. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't go out the last one I did on my birthday last year and we'll, uh, we'll hit a blank. So um, yeah, I've still got to get set up. Like I said, I've got the house done. I'm all ready now, just got to get the sticks in, get the rods ready. Um, I'll run through all the rigs and tactics and everything we're using throughout the session. We've got a bit of time, so I'm just going to take the time with it and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, really enjoying my fishing lately. Um, it's been nice just to get my heads behind the rods and, and sort of get in tune with somewhere and try to mess about with all the filming and that. But I'm, 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 I'm where I want to be. I'm finally happy. And uh, yeah, hopefully all the, uh, the hard work and practice comes together on this one and we can show you a few fish on the old cameras. So uh, yeah, bear with me, let me get your stuff together and I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later on with some rigs and hopefully with Craig here as well. guys well like I said earlier the approach was two zigs out one rod on a baited spot so this is exactly what I've done um, I've gone on previous five four and a half foot seems to be a good starting point um, black and red um, or red and yellow is the two zigs that I put out one at five one at four and a half just weighing them out 12 and a half and one at 11 and a half um, just to sort of uh, get them out there really at the start if I see fish showing then obviously them rods are coming straight in and they're going straight in the rings because um, it's just a technique that's worked for me down here before in the past. Now the rod that I'm putting out on a baited spot, um, I'm going with a rig that I've been using now for four, maybe five, six months now, um, and it's the Ronnie, everyone's jumped on it. Um, I did like my multi-rigs, everyone knows that, but as I say, I've jumped on this Ronnie um, and I'm using my version of it, which is not really just a standard 15 mil bait or a pop-up. Um, I fish it with two 12 mil pop-ups. Now you can alter the colours, one pink, one white, um, which I've had fish on down here to 30 pound on. Um, but this weekend I'll go on the Candy Nut Crush. Little 12 mils, instant baits, instant action. Um, so I say I've got two of them. The mix I'm putting out that I've been spotting out, I'll probably put about 15 spawnfuls out, large spawns. And that's just a mix of 15 mil key cray and normal key. Um, there's probably five, 10 key of it blended in there as well. So there's a bit of crumb. A couple of bottles of Sigma or Rouser. I mean, I've got, probably 45 litres worth of mix so it's not really a lot of liquid compared to the amount of bait that's in there um, that's been left to soak in there for about a week um, and just some Kong and that's really all that's going out oh sorry and there's um, the micro pellet that mix has gone in there as well a couple of bags of that just just different food items some small sizes big sizes um, loads of attraction and I say that's the, the mix that I've been putting out and it's been working the last four times I've come down here so I've gone with that again that's gone out there um, it's pretty simple 12 wraps straight out nine foot of water 
and I'm aiming at the pylon that's in front of me. I'm fishing swim free. Um, so yeah, I've got a Ronnie out there. It's just a um, 20 pound combi link in weed. Um, probably what, six, seven inches. I've got the double 12 mil Ronnie. Obviously everyone knows that about Ronnie now. They've been out long enough. Um, little blob of putty around the knot. I loop mine on, I don't tie it on. Personal preference. Um, and just a figure of eight at the top, straight onto a quick link. Um, standard leg clip, obviously a pin through the swivel so the leg clip can't move, so it will dump that three and a half ounce lead if it needs to. A little bit of tubing, short and simple, don't need to complicate things. Um, it's a heavily stocked fishery, there's a lot of fish in there. I think there's something like 18 to 1930s plus fish in there now. So, stock levels are doing really well. It's grown up a lot as well. Some of you that follow me from the start, I did a video down here with Harry Rees, um, he actually fished this swim, and that was um, quite it was a good few years ago now. Um, and like I say, it was fairly. Not once a fairly new fishery, but it was just maturing, do you know what I mean? But now the trees are all up between the swims, there's massive reed beds, um, it's come a long way, and obviously it's just a testament to the bailiffs and the uh, fishery owners down here that are looking after the place and maintaining it. Um, so as I say, yeah, there's a heavy, it's a heavily stocked venue, there's quite a lot of 20 plus fish in here, good and for 30 plus fish. Um, I don't think there's a 40 in here at present, um, so the comment I had the other week was probably one of the bigger residents, uh, 38.2, I think the big mirrors last out 36, 37, somewhere around that mark, 38 maybe. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see one go 40 or maybe a couple, but there's, there's mirrors smashing through the football, I think it's doing 36, 37s now, 35s, um, when last year it's 32, so they're, they're all putting on the weight, so there's, there's a fair amount of fish to go at. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap this rod up now, 12 wraps, straight out on the spot, get that out there. Um, and I think it's time to get the kettle on, because I have not stopped since I got down here. So yeah, it's time to kick back. Um, and as I say, hopefully the fish play ball. I ain't put a lot out, I put, like I say, 15 bombs out on the spot. Um, I'll probably top that up with another five, six tonight. Um, if I have a fish, another five on top as well. Um, if I start having fish on the baited spot and not on the zigs, then obviously I'll just rig up and have a bottom bait rod. And stick that on the edge of the spot as well and see if we can have two rods and a baited spot and see how it goes. It's just um, trial and error, we've got a bit of time, so I ain't in too much of a rush. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll catch up with you later on hopefully with a fish and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Well, moving into the first night then of uh, episode four. It's a little bit chilly. Um, got the wind smashing me in the face, but we'll, uh, we'll soldier through. I think it's meant to swing tomorrow, so that'll do us a favor. Um, haven't really seen much, but going off past experience, it's normally around about midnight that they all start showing. Um, so I'll be up until the uh, early hours of the morning pinging them zigs about. Um, but yeah, other than that, Sam's just got back from work, so he'll get his rods out now. No doubt he'll probably nick another one. Craig's here as well, he's all set up, he's just got his rods out, he's had a couple of liners, so it's looking good. Um, I ain't touched my rods, so I'm going to leave them out for the night. Um, as I say, other than the zigs, if something shows, I'm going to put them in the rings. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, start to get dinner on. I've got an article to start writing as well, so I'm going to get busy with that. And um, yeah, we'll see what the night brings. But if there's nothing through the night, you know how it is, I'll catch up with you in the morning. Got here about six o'clock, got everything set up, got all the gear in the bivvy, put the rods out. Um, immediately there were fish there, had a savage liner on the right rod. About sort of eight o'clock, hooked into a fish, felt really small, lost that one. Settled in for the night, I thought when I get up in the morning I'll start recording, start filming and we'll start working on some stuff properly. But I've just been woken up by sort of an upper 20 mirror. Um, it looks about 27, 28 and he's just recovering down there. So I'm gonna head over, I'm gonna wake Lee up, uh, gonna put this on the tripod and gonna take some photos of this fish. Before I wake Lee up, I'm actually gonna put the kettle on. I'm not gonna wake a man up without offering him a cup of tea first. Um, but as soon as I've done that, we're gonna get this fish out and photograph it. Uh, can't wait, because I've not really seen it yet. And I'm pretty excited to see it. I've never been to this lake before. Uh, I don't know how many fish came out in the night, but um, 
yeah, pretty happy to have a, a decent sized fish on the first night. See you in a bit. All right, let's go see Lee. I've got two cups of tea. Let's go wake him up. Here he is. Morning, Trey Gold. So here we go, first Bayswater water fish, 26 and a half pound mirror, and an absolutely stunning one. And uh, down well, mate, down well. First night on bays, he's managed to uh, jump out, nick a fish as well. So um, yeah, we've got two nights ahead of us. Going to make the most of it today. I think um, I need to ring a few changes as well and catch up with these boys now because I'm uh, I'm starting to fall behind a little <laughs> bit here, mate. But yeah, mate, wicked, absolutely wicked fish. Yeah, They're all like nice it in. I say it's a heavily stocked venue, like I mentioned yesterday. Um, Quite a lot of 20s, 30s, yeah. Right, I think we should get some water on this, take a couple of photos and get it back. Yeah, mate, wicked, wicked. The second morning then guys obviously you've seen that fish that Craig's just had um, something's not right for me I'm afraid um, we're both fishing at 12 wraps it was his left hand rod that went um, and my right hand rod was static which was on a zig at around about 12 wraps so I'm gonna have a little change up today um, I'm gonna put two rods in a baited spot and I'm gonna put a little bit more bait out because Craig put quite a bit of bait out when he got here yesterday whereas I tend to just stick to me straight 15 sit on it five before the dark and then um, again five 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 so we're gonna put a little bit out today. I'm gonna to probably put about 25 spawns out, a little bit of bait, get get that signal and, and everything going in the water and get them fish honing on on my spot because um, yeah, I need to do something. Sam's on two, Craig's on one, and I'm falling so far behind it's not really fair to be honest. So, reeled in a zig. Um, I've got no tubing but I'm fishing fluoro so it's gonna sink anyway, but just to make sure, a couple of blobs of putty just up the line, um, straight through on the lead clip, and I've gone for a 12 mil white pop-up. Um, I think this is 4G squid actually. Um, short little six inch rig and that's literally just going to sit up off the putty probably about an inch um, so that rod's going out and I've took the double 12 mil off of the Ronnie and I've gone on to a 15 mil candy nut crush and I've just trimmed down the edges just to make it a little bit smaller um, and obviously it will let out the signals a little bit quicker because the coatings took off the boiling and um, so they're both wrapped up at 12 rods so I'm going to ping them out now and then I'm going to start putting a little bit of bait out over the top and hopefully we can trigger something so just popped over to Lee's swim uh, I'm up there and uh, he's doing his chefy thing, having a bit of breakfast. It's got to be done, it's got to be done. So the boys are showing me right up at the minute, I ain't gonna lie. I've even uh, changed my tactics as well. I've now got two rods on the bottom and one on a zig. Um, but yeah, needed to get some breakfast in me, so north for me old crumpets. Crumpets and cheese, everyone loves a bit of crumpet, don't they, let's face it. So, um, yeah, I think the, uh, the wind's due to swing a little bit, which might help us out. Um, the pressure's still a little bit higher, but I think they'll definitely get on the feed. I think it's just a case of waiting for them to find the spots and uh, play it by ear. But yeah, I'm going to get busy and cook these crumpets. Well, we've got plenty of time yet. We're here till Monday, so let's just give that a bit of an adjust. Yeah, we're here till Monday, so fish got to come across the spots eventually. Nothing's been showing, so there's no point in changing what we're doing. We've just got to sit on our hands a little bit and uh, know that it's working. The fish I had was from my left hand rod and that's not too far from these spots. So we know the fish are in the area, they like the bait because we're using the key cray, we're using the same same bait so it's just a waiting game now. So we'll catch up with you a bit later when hopefully we've got some more fish to show you.
laugh. Right, so fish number two for me. Had three bites this morning, uh, today, should I say. Uh, lost one about an hour ago. Just took me down the channel. I had no control over it whatsoever. There's probably only a couple of fish in here that'll do that to me. So nice to uh, make up for it. A little bit of a 26 on the button. Second 26 of the session. Second mate. one, mate. Yeah. So second uh, one. Getting amongst them. He's having it large. Little double corn toppers doing it. I thought I was going to have a rest from the gym this week, but um, it looks like I've got a cardio session book running around here with a camera. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, happy days, mate. Well done. Good stuff, eh? Yeah, man. Should we get some snaps? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So the Bayswater Slayer strikes again, <laughs> as he's known around these ways. He ain't shy of 100 fish a year, so he, uh, <laughs> it's fair to say he knows the water pretty well. And uh, yeah. Pulling it out of the bag for the cameras. I am going to point out though, for the last couple of times I was down here with him, he were not <laughs> Totally out of fish. <laughs> yeah. See you later, buddy. So, this is the shallows at Bays. Sam's been working this for now. What are you saying? Six weeks? Six, yeah, six, six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. We've, um, we've got a little bit to uh, put in the video from our previous work that we've been doing down here but I'll talk to you about that probably tomorrow but let's just say we've been doing a little bit of underwater filming and uh, yeah That's some good stuff. It's, it's some good stuff yeah it's an eye opener put it that way but I'm going to get back round to the rods now because I've got my mate Mike watching them and uh, yeah Sam's going to work so I won't be running around here in a while Right guys, well we're uh, coming up to the uh, second evening now into Saturday night. Um, I thought I'd take just five minutes out of the video to run you through what's been going on down here the last couple of weeks or a month or so. Um, as you know, I've been coming down here with Mr. Seeley himself, the, uh, the Bayswater Slayer, as you know, mate. Stop it. It sticks, doesn't it? It does stick. <laughs> Stop it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, basically, what's been happening is Sam's been concentrating his efforts on the shallows. Um, it's about two, three foot down now. I did the first weekend down there with him and we sort of got a grips with it and found a couple spots. Caught um, some fish, didn't we, Lee? I did, mate, yeah. Do you want to talk about that? No, nah, we'll, 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 we'll leave it at, um, he caught my target fish, that's it's enough of that, I think. Yeah? Mm. All right, mate, we'll leave it at that then. Um, so, yeah, uh, we found a couple spots and basically between us we were sort of bouncing off each other, weren't we? And yeah, sort of like, should we try a bit of underwater filming? So, sort of had a little brainstorm together and... Um, yeah, what, what kind of evolved out of it, mate, is what's happened, didn't it, over the last month or so? This is it. I mean, we've, I've started off using um, the fish spy camera, trying that a little bit, and uh, I, I'm not massively keen on it. Um, I don't really like the way that it saves files and all that, so I've, I've changed over and started using my GoPro, um, just using the regular underwater camera, um, film case, sorry. Um, having to walk in every hour and 20 minutes, changing the battery and all that, it's a bit of a palaver, you know what I mean, scaring fish away. You know, I've got a few sort of decent clips, but... Well, it, ideal, it could it, be improved, yeah, yeah, well, yeah ideal, it, it definitely yeah. could be improved. Yeah. So I had a little look about online and um, found an underwater case where you can plug a power bank to. So I tried that and uh, put it in and uh, sure enough it didn't work and the camera leaked, uh, the case leaked. So uh, <laughs> tried it again and it leaked again. So um, yeah, again went back to the drawing board trying to think how I can sort of like get it underwater for a decent amount of time without it potentially drowning my GoPro at the same time. So. Uh, yeah, I found a, it's called a refuel um, battery pack that goes on the back. It's all proper underwater. I've tried it a few times. It's in at the minute filming. Um, it does about six hours, which is more than enough time really to get a decent shot of fish coming in and you know possibly getting a take on film. So yeah, it's still I'm, yet to happen, but you know, because you um, never know. It's been it's been tedious, isn't it, mate? Yeah. With um, yeah, many slowly as lots the weeks of trial and errors. On, mm. it's, it's got harder, isn't it? With the the water clarity sort of got. That's another thing a, as a well. Lot worse as the fish have got more confident and active. You'll you'll see the clips 
Um, Hopefully running on the screen now, if we edit it right. <laughs> yeah, you should see the clips um, of where the, the, the water clarity is, goes from absolutely gin clear to what it is now, which is almost like a soup, unfortunately. So. But, um, yeah, yeah we, there's still some is. time and we've still got two nights, so yeah, man. you never know, it could happen, we'll go to the end, but um, I just thought I'd bring Sam in, because I say, we have put a lot of a lot of work, a lot of effort into it, and we mate, and it's, yeah, um, it hasn't happened how we've wanted it, but we've got some clips that I wanted this, to show you. This, and there's some, there's some it's great eye-opening, isn't it, mate? It's yeah. eye-opening, mate. Yeah. Oh, the stuff that I've seen is just um, unbelievable, do you know what I mean? From simple things from when the swan comes down and picks your rig up and just dumps you in a pile or to even passing through even like, yeah even got or, to touch or, it, or, it? or spooking off the pole on, on one flip of, of, his, of his foot and that's it everything just explodes i mean it's just yeah. you know the, it's just an eye opener yeah man it is, mate. It is, mm. yeah but um yeah so like i say that's that's what's basically been happening and while he's been racking his his brains and pulling his air out doing that i've been taking a fish out of swim 11 so <laughs> But, um, Getting yeah. amongst them thirties, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, but he's uh, you've done a job this week, there, mate, for us. So glad you used to have, because I certainly ain't doing much at the minute. But still time, man. Loads of yeah, time. Two nights. Nice. We're talking about time. But um, yeah, so in. Like I say, hope you enjoy some of the footage that we've got for you. And um, with a bit of luck, we'll have a few more fish before Monday's out, won't we, son? Sunshine. While you're going, ain't it, mate? Anyway. Yeah, 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 for sure. One off the plate would be nice. Mate. Oh, if I can get one off that dinner plate, mate. Yeah. The dinner plate joke is. Genuine. <laughs> genuine yeah, we was laughing about the spot being like a dinner plate and obviously as the weeks went on it got polished and it got cleaner gravel and one night I turned around to Sam and said, do you know what, it'd be a laugh if you put a dinner plate in there and actually put your rig and your bait all on a dinner plate and it'd be actual dinner plate like everyone says. Um, the following weekend Sam turned up with a dinner plate. So that's basically how it's gone on. Um, the dinner plate's now in the spot and it's been there for two weeks. No, I think it's probably been in there for maybe three or four. Every time I go in to check it, it's shining. Absolutely shining. I absolutely load that thing up with bait and then I come out, check it and it is shining. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's uh, the running choke. I thought we'd explain it because we've been going on about it for a while. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. And um, you never know, you might see a take on a dinner plate before the video's out. Good morning, welcome to Sunday. Um, another uneventful night for me, I'm afraid. Um, I did have a couple of liners here and now, um, and a couple of beeps, but I think what's happened is where there's been such a crosswind and then we've got an undertow as well, I think the bait's spread out from the spawning a lot more than I'd have liked it to. Um, and I think the fish are just picking up off the edge of the baited area. So instead of fishing two rods at 12 wraps, I've decided this morning to reel in um, and redo the rods. I've put one at 12 and a bit, just to put me over the spot, um, slightly to the left of it and I've put one at 11 and a half just to drop me off of it as well. So I'm hoping that little change there may be able to pick a fish up if they are picking at the edge because I must have had about four or five liners last night, quite vicious ones as well. Um, so they was definitely there and um, they were shoving like crazy as well. I stayed up to about three, half three, as long as my eyes had let me. Pinging the zig about, just putting it in the rings, but it, it just weren't happening, I'm afraid. Um, Craig, I don't think he's had anything. I don't think he's even up this morning. Um, he was up pretty late last night and I haven't heard from Sam Rand in the shallow so I dare say he's had a blank night as well. Um, my mate Mike though who's been fishing to me left in peg two, um, he took a nice common this morning um, so it was early up, updoors early for uh, a quick photo call with him. Um, so yeah that's where I'm at basically at the minute. Uh, hook bait wise I've got a cultured um, key cray hook bait on a blowback rig tip with a bit of glow, glow in the dark yellow kong. And I've got a 12mm TG pop-up as well on a blowback rig. Just popped up about half an inch. Um, just to see if they'll pick up a smaller bait rather than, than a 15mm or an 18mm. So that's where I'm at at the minute. Um, angling pressure slowly reducing as it is Sunday. So a lot of anglers are due to leave and they've got to go to work tomorrow. Whereas I have got a week off. So I'm, uh, I'm here till tomorrow afternoon-ish. Um, and then we'll be off. I'm going to have a day at home and then I'm off to Linear on Wednesday. So... Yeah, with a bit of luck, the old angling pressure reducing, pressure slowly creeping down as well. I think we've got a bit of bad weather on the way, so 
it's all looking good, it's all in our favour. Um, and the other plus side of the anglers leaving is from where I am at the minute, I can reach quite a majority of the water. So if I do see fish showing um, and there's no angler in the swim, don't get it twisted, there's a foot going over there, do you know what I mean? I need to get a fish on the bank, so it is what it is, I'm afraid. Um, when Craig wakes up, we'll have a little chat with him, because um, I think this is his first time down here as well, so it's good for uh, good for him to come down here and nick a fish, but he's got a habit of doing that when I take him filming. He's, um, he likes coming with me because he seems to have a good session, so but he's been doing really well down here, Cindy, as well, so yeah, he's on form at the minute. Um, I thought I was on form as well myself, but... <laughs> It's all gone to pot because the cameras are here. But yeah, it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll make the most of it. And you know me, I don't give up until the, uh, the final whistle. So let's see what happens. Uh, fingers crossed, today's the day. Sweet. Fish number three for me, 19 pound four. Just uh, having a quick social round with Lee because my rods have been dormant for pretty much 24 hours. So, uh, that's the you saying bolt sun, didn't you? Did, uh, I must have got round doing about 15 seconds flat. Good job it wasn't a big one because uh, probably would have taken me for a merry dance, but uh, still, fish all the same, can't really complain. Doing it, son, doing it. All them hard works and them weekends, mate, it's paying off now, isn't it? Yeah, we're down there making my spots. So, yeah, mate, well done. Making it count. Let's get some snaps in, guys. Do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, guys, we're rapidly approaching the last night we've got here at Bayswater. And uh, so far, it started off with uh, quite an eventful start, and it's uh, plateaued after that, shall we say? <laughs> it has, mate, and it? Yeah, we've, um, we've tried our best, like I say, we've, uh, we're doing everything that we can but it seems to be, um, for the past month I've been coming down here, the fish have been on the back of the wind. They didn't like following the wind. Um, arriving Friday, we had a new wind on, and for some strange reason, Craig, it's uh, totally switched around, and they've seemed to have followed the wind and gone to the other end of the lake, into the other corner, and that's where they've been for the past two days, mate, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, we can't really follow them either. We've had some anglers on the other bank, and to our frustration, the fish have been showing a few rod lengths off of them, and they've done absolutely nothing about it. Uh, the plus side is they've moved off now um, and we yet to see the fish, fish uh, see where they are but um, if they start showing there again I'm sure we can ping a lead over there. Yeah mate, yeah I mean the good thing is as well coming into Sunday night now a lot of anglers have left so there's a few swims opened up. Um, one or two anglers have arrived and obviously jumped in some swims but there is some free swims so that means there's open water so if they do start showing in any of the swims that there isn't an angler in then obviously we'd be a bit stupid mate to not make the most of it and, and get a rig over there wouldn't yeah, we? That's it. I mean Lee here if you've ever fished with him you'll no, he's one of the most hard-working anglers there is. I'm kind of like, I set my traps and wait, and then I won't stray from that. Lee has been pinging, flipping zigs at anything. If, if it could be a fish, there's been a zig on it. If it's, you're thinking, Lee, is that a fish? And he's like, why, well, it's getting a zig. Yeah. He hasn't stopped. Uh, he's cast so many times, it's ridiculous. Uh, we, we really are trying to get everything to get another fish on camera. But as Lee said, it's just not happened yet. But we've still got one more night, um, and then probably about lunchtime tomorrow we'll be off of here. Yeah, I mean, speaking to um, Buggy that come around, Steve Bug the Bailiff as well, he said Sunday nights are prolific on Bayswater. For anyone, any of the locals or anyone that does fish it on a regular, um, Sunday night when the weekend angling pressure does do one, the fish tend to um, have a switch on, move around and, and mop up. So with a bit of luck, um, as the sun's fading over our shoulders, we could uh, be in for an eventful night. There's certainly enough bait out there. I must have done a good, what, 15, 15 kilo an hour of spot mix onto mm. a spot. Um, I've had rods on it, I've had rods off of it. Like I say, I mentioned to you this morning, I've moved them different different wraps and everything to try and suss out where these liners are coming from. But today, well, the last day, going into the last night, I've, I've sort of um, settled on just fishing about a foot, foot and a half into the, like back off of the spot, so to say. So we'll see what happens. I've got a couple of zigs at the arms and um, like I say, it's gonna be another one 
I was up till three last night. Um, I might try and beat it, but it's whether my eyes let me, mate, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think of um, Bayswater itself? Because I think it's your first session down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's my first session here. I'm just like, thanks for inviting me down. I've been guesting here. I'll tell you what, after I've been here, I'm going to go get myself a membership on here and come back here again. It's a lovely lake. Day ticket is probably one of the best day tickets I've been to. Yeah, here it's lovely. You can get a proper night's sleep, which is unfortunate because it means we're not catching fish. <laughs> but I mean, that, that's how secure it is and that. And uh, the guys who run the place have done a really good job. It's absolutely lovely here. Yeah? I think it's about 19 now. 19, 30, 32 plus fish. Um, and then the head of 20s to back them up is ridiculous as well. And they're all pretty fish. They're well looked after. Everyone has got their carp care kits, and like I say, it is a premier day ticket. And if you think about it as well, you pay in your £25 for your 24 hours, and then any further 24 hours, if you do it in a stint block, you're only paying 15 quid for them 24 hours. So if you do three or four nights, and you're the type of angler that does that, it's a great place to come and do that because you save yourself a bit of dough in your pocket as well. So, I say, mate, I think we'll, uh, we've got dinner on the go, haven't we? I think my chicken might be burning now. So, um, yeah, looks like gonna it. I have to get on my toes. So, um, He's going to finish with his chicken, I'm going to go put the kettle on and hopefully the alarms will start singing and we'll be back for you shortly. Yes, yes oh. indeed. Right, let's go and get the kettle on. Yes, mate. Nearly ended on a 30. Well, what a way to end the film then. Mr. Seeley's only got to done it. He has actually now won off of the dinner plate. Unfortunately, it was um, late early hours of the morning, so uh, there was no GoPro in the spot, but it doesn't matter for me and you, mate. That's got to be achievement com a complete, basically. Not mate, many people can say they've caught a car off, off an actual dinner plate, mate. No, mate, no. And 29.4 as well. You've not only got to nick any old fish, do you know what I mean? You've had a fairly big mirror, which I think this is the one we've been seeing coming in and out, isn't it? Maybe, yeah. It's, it's I think it is. might be, yeah. Yeah. So. He's uh, expelling the bait, mate, so you've, uh, you've oh, yes. had him going. <laughs> but, um, yes, as I say, shouts to uh, Steve Bug and the lads at Bayswater for having us down. Um, shouts to Sam as well, because uh, he's put a lot of effort and time into this one as well. And uh, the rewards are pay off, mate, aren't they? In the shape of this little beauty. You're happy with that one? Before yeah, you man. France. Quality. That is, yeah. Little pick me up before I go away. Get me in the mood. <laughs> well, I think we'll leave it there then, Craig, because me and you had a, a pretty blank night, didn't we, mate? Yeah, a good night, Steve. I actually only woke up about 10 minutes ago, so uh, that goes to show how good our night was. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there then for episode four, and um, I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks for me, thanks for Sam, and uh, thanks for Craig, I think. See you later. See you. Thank <laughs> you.